throwing out the vaccine rollout playbook, going against federal guidelines and prioritizing age over health or employment status. Connecticut announcing vaccines will be available exclusively by age group. The one exception, teachers and others who work in schools. Additional essential, essential workers and those with underlying medical conditions will not get priority. They'll have to wait until their age group is called to get vaccinated. So far, Connecticut has been, has been seeing some success in getting shots in arms. In fact, the state's administered more than 800,000 COVID shots, 90% of what it's received, and six out of 10 residents over the age of 75 and high risk have been vaccinated. The Connecticut governor, Ted Lamont, says his vaccine strategy is, quote, keep it simple, stupid. Ted Lamont joins us now. Governor, thanks so much. This, this age approach, Ned, it's, it's different than most of the country. What's the thinking in Connecticut? What's behind this? Look, it worked really well for 75 and above, Shep. That's where over half of our complications and fatalities were. It worked really well for 65 and above. And I looked at the um, guidance from the CDC when they had essential workers and folks with comorbidity. It was about half of our adult population. It just would have been chaos. We figured we could really focus on the you know, older population, 55 and above. That's where 96 percent of the um, complications take place. You know, some of your essential workers are none too pleased. Uh, they're arguing that this new, new policy is wrong because frontline workers, those who are out front, like grocery store employees, should be prioritized. What do you say to them? I say a lot of them live in multi-generational housing, and thank God they're there with their mothers and fathers or grandparents, and they have been vaccinated now, so they know they can get home safely. And they know that uh, within three weeks, 45 and above will be able to get vaccinated. So they know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and their turn is coming fast. So do you have a timeline laid out? Like when do you hit 65? When do you hit 55? When do you hit 45 or, or however you're doing it? Yeah, right now it's uh, 65 and above. Uh, we're at um, probably 40 plus percent there right now. 55 and above will start on Monday. 45 and above will start um, three weeks thereafter. So people know exactly when they can count on getting that vaccine. But if, if I have diabetes or I'm, over, I'm obese or I have chronic lung problems and I'm 35 years old, I can't get a vaccine and I'm stuck inside. And I'm not happy if I live in Connecticut. Uh, I'll tell you, Chef, what was shocking was the CDC list didn't even have diabetes on there as one of those uh, comorbidities. <laughs> but we're finding, you know, folks over 55 are two or three times more likely to have a comorbidity or something that puts them at risk. So it makes sense for them to get vaccinated first. Another vaccine challenge really is outreach. How have you been able to vaccinate underserved communities, communities of color in your state? Yeah, we got to do a better job there. Um, people of color are twice as likely to get infected and suffer complications and half as likely to get vaccinated. We're bringing the mobile vans to the communities. We're working with the churches. Uh, we're making sure I allocate enough vaccines to the underserved community that they are as likely to get vaccinated as anybody else in the suburbs. We're making a big effort there. Nobody's going to get left behind. Governor Ned Lamont, we're pulling for you. And, and really every governor out there with enormous challenges. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.